If you own a home Wi-Fi cam, you may get unwanted reflections in your recorded footage. Well, I'm going to show you a simple hack that I did to my camera to reduce those unwanted reflections on this episode of Moondog Reviews. Hey, Moondog here. If you're like me and you happen to have a security cam at home, uh, or a couple, in this case this is a WISE version 2 cam that I've started replacing around the house with a WISE version 3, and it doesn't have to be WISE, you, there's a couple of different brands out there that are, that are pretty good. There's Arlo, Bing, Blink, there's any number of other brands that offer the same Wi-Fi capabilities, and now uh, much higher resolution and uh, much better night performance. But one of the problems with these cams, and it's not necessarily the cam itself, but it's just a problem of the world, uh, if you mount these indoors, let's say, and you want to have it facing out because uh, you can't mount one of these, let's say if you're unable to mount one of these outdoors an, an, or an outdoor version of the cam uh, because let's say uh, you live in an apartment or uh, you can't, um, there's no outlet that, that you can plug the power or um, into easily or you don't want to drill a hole in your wall to, to run power out. Uh, well, anyway, you, you may decide you want to place this indoors and facing outwards in, in, out of a window, but if that's that happens, you often get unwanted glare and reflections in your image. Just, just because, you know, it's just glass and light, uh, you're going to get reflections on, on glass. And especially um, at night, you, you may get unwanted reflections from things going on in your house. And uh, it can be distracting not only in the footage, but it can also be detrimental in identifying things. Uh, well, coming from old school photography, those of us who, who've had older SLR cameras know about polarizing filters. Or if you have polarizing sunglasses, you know about uh, polarizing um, lenses. And what they do is these are lenses with a special coating on them that have these very microscopic lines that prevent light coming in uh, from, from different angles from coming through uh, the, the lens, so that only light from one angle um, comes through. And what that does is it blocks out unwanted glare um, if you position your lenses correctly. And with linear polarizing um, lenses, by rotating it 90 degrees or 45 degrees, you can get rid of a lot of glare from windows just using a polarizing filter. Unfortunately, I don't know of any camera that has that feature. If there is, please let me know. But I figured out a way, it's a very simple way, to add polarizing, uh, a polarizing filter to just about any cam out there. And you can buy these linear polarizing sheets uh, from your photo uh, camera store, or I got these on, on Amazon. I'll include a link in the video description. Uh, I've, I'll put the uh, product links in uh, my full written review of this um, in my website at moondogindustries.com. So you can find all the links to these things. But what I'm gonna show you is how to create a, just a very simple polarizing filter to put on your camera to get rid of glare. So let's get started. All right, I'm gonna show you how to use these linear polarizer sheets to create your own filter for a security cam. And I have a WISE version two here, but of course, this will pretty much work with any security cam that you have. I replaced this one with the new V3, which is the reason why I mounted it up uh, in my window. But these sheets come in packs, multi-packs, at least it's the most economical way to purchase these. And these, are about three and a half by three and a half inch squares and just so you know there is a protective film on both sides you'll need to peel that off um, but as you can see the sheet itself is bigger than the cam and you really don't need it to be that large in fact um, you'll just want to cover up the lens section of your camera you don't want to be covering up uh, this is a sensor and an infrared um, infrared sensor over here and there's also a light sensor on here so you don't want to cover up a lot of the extra stuff or cover up as little as possible in just the camera part which is that little small lens in the very center around this are um, infrared emitters sort of like inf little infrared led flashlights so um, unfortunately we'll probably have to cover those up uh, to accomplish what we need to accomplish so what you want to do first is cut this down to size and you can just use scissors and I've actually already cut 
a fourth of this out. So this should be closer to what we need here. Yeah, pretty much. Now, one of the things you'll need to do is determine which direction this linear polarizer should be facing because the reason it's called linear is because it's polarizing in only one direction. And if you turn it 90 degrees, it'll have a totally different effect in terms of the, 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 the light that it's, that's coming in. One direction will have the glare, and if you turn it 90 degrees, it'll have far less glare. So you're gonna have to figure that out by connecting your, your cam to your monitor or your phone or whatever you're using to look through and check the footage and then determine which direction you need to place this. And once you do, it's just a simple matter of taping it into place. And I'm going to be using this generic painter's tape. You don't need a lot. And then we'll be taking off our protective film. Start on one side. And I believe this is going to be our up. Then I'll just need to take the film off to the back side. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just place it on the top here and then place two additional patches on either side. Et voila, we're done. Of course, you can be a lot neater or use a different color tape as you need to, uh, but that's essentially it. And you'll just set this up and you'll have far less glare in your footage. So I'm going to put this, actually, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put it onto the install cam and we'll take a look right now. Here we have a camera mounted to the top of a window frame inside of a house. From this position, the camera has a broad view of the street, but we can see reflections of the window blinds in the footage. At night, the reflection of the window blinds is even more evident due to backlighting from inside of the house, as well as lighting from the street lamps. After installing the polarizing film, the window blind reflections are still present, but greatly reduced. You can see the differences more clearly in the side-by-side. -side. On the left, we have the camera without a filter. On the right, with the filter attached. So there you go. If you got something out of this video, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost anything when you hit that subscribe button, but by doing that and hitting the notification bell, you're letting the algorithm know that these are the kind of videos that you like to watch, and it'll suggest it to more folks like you. So thanks for doing that. Moondog out. Hey, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Leave me a comment or chat with me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, MeWe, Instagram, or Locals. And if you want to see all of my videos, go to MoondogIndustries.com.